Хөх тэнгэрийн Монгол орны нөргөн удам үргэлжлэх онгон зэлүүд газар нутаг элэгсэг сэтгэлтэй ард түмнээрээ адилслэгдсэн ер бусын үйлдэлтэй орон юм аа. Байгалийн төрөх байдал цаг урын хувьд олон ялгаатай мөнх цас дөрвлүүдээс ахуулаад зүйлэг ногоон тал өргөн их гоё цөлийг хамардаг. Эрт үеэс өдий хүртэл байгалтайгаа зөвхөн амьдэрдэг нүүдэлчин амьдралын ёс жайг нь зүүн зүүнийг дамжин үргэлжилжээ. Тус улсын олон үндэстэн яснуудаас төрөн гарсан Гоёмсөг Монгол үндэсний хувцас соёл заншил үндэсний урлаг нь улсын нандан үг хөрөнг юм байна. Сүүлийн хідэн 10 жилд 2.5 сая гаруй хүн амтай олон зүйлийн ургамал амьдны нутаг болох Монгол орнын цаг үрийн өөрчлөлтүүд болох цөлжилт, гангачиг, эрсдэл суур амьсгалын хүчтэй нөлөөнд автаад байгаа юм байна. Төвсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхай Монгол дэх нийгэм нэлийн гишүүд гарыг дэлхийнхэн байдалд сэтгэл зовнож дэлхийн дулаарал цаг үрийн өөрчлөлтийн тулгамцсан асуударх соос олон улсын олон улсын хурлыг тус улсын нийслэл Улаанбаатар хотын соёлын төвөргөнд мэгмэр гарагт зохион байгуулжээ. Нэгдүгээр сарын 27-нд болсон энэхүү хурлд мянга гарын зочид тэдгээрийн дотор хэдэн зуун нөлөө бүхий хүмүүс олон байгууллагуудын тэргүүнүүд оролцжээ. Хурлд оролцсон чухал албаны хүмүүсийн дунд улсын их хурлын гишүүн Б Батгаяр, Монгол улсын ерөнхий сайд асан Думагийн содном, Монгол улсын нийслэлийн засаг даргын орлогч Даваад Орчийн гам бол Шинжлэх ухааны Академийн дид ерөнхийлөгч доктор Батгуултын их төвшин, ерөнхийлөгчийн зөвлөг Самдангийн цэдэн дамба, ерөнхий сайдын гадаад харилцаа хариуцсан зөвлөг Очин однор хурлд оролцсон байна. Хурлын хүндэд зочин болох төвсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхайн уг хурлыг найрсгаар хүлээн авч оролцож шууд дүрсээр харилцан үзэгчдийн асуултанд хариулсан байна. Шинжлэх ухааны баримтаар нотлогдоод байгаа цаг үрийн өөрчлөлтөөс үүссэн манай дэлхийн ноцтой нөхцөл байдал ба шуурхай арга хэмжээ авах шаардлагын үүднээс төвсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхайн сүүлийн 20 жилд дэлхийн даяанд төгөөж байсан жухал захиасанда бид цагаа холтон байх хэвстэй бөгөөд бид байгалийн нөөцийг хэмнэж амьдрах хэвстэй батдгын хэлж байлаа. Монгол улсын ерөнхийлөгч номрын их хоёр хурлд онцгой жуух бичгээ илгээсэн нь хурлын онцлог үйл явдал болсон юм. Духа мөчд ерөнхийлөгч гадаадад айлчлалаар явсан байсан учир уг албан ёсны мэндчилгээг түүний зөвлөх Самдангийн цэдэн дамба үзэгчдэд хүргэсэн юм. Тус үйл ажиллагааг 22 хэвлэл мэдээллийн төлөөлөгчд оролцсон түүний дотор гол сонингууд болох Үнэн, Зууны мэдээ, Монголын мэдээ, Мөн FM 105.5, TV9, Монголын үндэсний телевизийн AMM агентлаг Игэр телевизүүд байсан байна. FM 105.5 TV9 болон Supreme Master телевизүүд уг хурлыг үзэгчдтэй шууд дамжуулла. Дэлхийн дулаарлын хурлын дараагаар төвсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхайн дэлхийд орлогоороо тэргүүлж буй шүгүүд миний амьдралд хэмээх номны Монгол Орс хэл дээр хөлтрүүдийн нээлт ёслын ажиллагаа явагдсан юм. Дараа нь дэлхийн ээжэд зориулсан онцгой хүндэд зочин төвсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхайг өрж оролцуулсан тансаг сайхан тоглол тавигдсан билээ. Та бүхэндээ одоо Монгол улсын нийслэл Улаанбаатар хотод 2009 оны 1 сарын 27-нд болсон төвсгэгэрсэн их багш чинхайг өрж оролцуулсан дэлхийн дулаарал цаг үрийн өөрчлөлтийн тулгамцсан асуудлаарх соос олон улсын видео хурлыг давтан тайлбарлах гэж байна. The next questioner is Урн сайхан ядамсүрэн Executive Director of Anis Farm Trade Company. Welcome. Мадам, их багш та сайн байна уу? Тантай үзэж байгаа за. Сайн байна уу? Сайн байна. За, монголчууд бидний өвгд эдэс эртээр үеэс өрөн дулааны үлдэлд махбаг идэж сүү цагаа идэгээр хоолж байсан уламжлалтай боловч өнөө үед махгүй амьдарч болно гэдгийг ойлгох хүн их цөөхөн байна. Манай улсад мал сүрг их өсөж байгаа. Засгийн газар төр төр засгийн газраас мал сүргийг өсгөж үржүүлэх талаар бол бодлого их явуулдаг. За үүний зэрэгцээгээр манай улсад 
хүнсний ногоо жим чимсхний тариалын эртэ рүүс хөгжөөгүй одоо сүүлийн үед ч гэсэн бас эрчимтэй сайн хөгжөж чадаагүй байгаа. За энэ нь бол цаан холдон болоход хүндрэл учруудаг юм бэрхшээлүүд байгаа юм. За дэлхийн дулаарлын хор хөнөөл цаан хоолны ач тусын талаар дэлхийн улс орнуудын удирдагч нар тэр бүр ижил төвшөнд шинжлэх ухааны үндэслэлтэй ойлголтгүй бас байгаа юм шиг санагдгийн удирдагч бас өрөөлх хэрэгтэй гэж би хувьдаа бодтгийн тийм учраас их хөгшөө та дэлхийн улс орнуудын удирдагч нарт захтал бичиж өнөөгийн энэ тулгамтсан асуудлыг хамтран шийдэх талаар өрөөлөл ямар бэ гэсэн саналтай айлаа Supreme Master it's a great honor to meet you Nowadays in our country there are more people who support vegetarianism and green industries more people who adopt a vegetarian diet and more people possess the desire to plant trees and help the environment In the olden days our ancestors didn't consume much meat and mostly used dairy products for food but today there are very few people who accept that a person can survive without eating meat The number of livestock is dramatically increasing in our country. Along with that, we don't have a strong foundation of fruit and vegetable industries and do not have enough vegetables for supply. This is a great setback for people who would like to become a vegetarian. Also, the leaders of the world do not seem to have a consistent understanding of what global warming is all about. Supreme Master, may I suggest that you write letters about the particular topic to leaders of nations and invite them to work together in this urgent global matter? Sure, madam. I am the president of the United Nation. I can do that. <laughs> uh, I wish I could influence the body of the world government. before you even say that but nevertheless i have tried my best in many ways and i have requested our association member to write to the government uh wherever they can and whenever we can and we still continue to do that the livestock raising must stop mongolia as with the rest of the world is experiencing more severe weather more fatal uh, pattern of climate change due to the effects of global warming so you can see in mongolia droughts harsher winters more frequency of dust storms and blizzards with livestock raising we deplete mongolian already limited natural resources and even put mongolia country more in danger of desertification instead of grazing animals we can begin planting the organic vegetable which is more healthy to everyone yes we have to choose a vegetarian diet over animal breeding if more and more people choose organic farming as well we help each other to the best possible of our ability and most gentle way for all beings and the earth from then we can share food since we have so much food we have abundance of food more than enough for everyone without even having to buy it and we save time and other resources to go toward other things like ending disease and helping those in need by not subsidizing the meat diet we save trillions of us dollars per year we save a lot of suffering from meat related illness we save a lot of uh, food to to share with all the hungry in the world so our conscience we never have to wake up in the middle of the night and bite us anymore we can do that through uh, such a method as uh, hydroponics you can even plant and harvest indoors so we can do it also by ourselves there's no need even farmers if we have a little garden we can plant it ourselves or if we have a balcony we can even plant it in water we must start now so that you can have your own vegetable it's very easy 
if you just have a little pot even on the balcony, the size you want, and you just saw some seed on it, a few days later, you already have some vegetable. You know, salad, for example. Some are grown in three days or one week or two weeks, and you can always uh, take turn to grow it again. And in the garden, it grow quicker. In the old time, if we look into the Mongolian history, the people of Mongolia did not eat so much meat. Then we should be convinced that meatless diet sustain our ancestry and still can sustain us. And nowadays, even evidently, through medical and scientific research, that vegetarian diet is absolutely healthy. Just people don't know about this and don't have time to do research, so we have to inform them. Uh, please do inform your people. We are doing that, but we need your help. We cannot do everything, even though we have association members everywhere. But it's not like <laughs> the whole planet is my association member, is it? <laughs> so we need your help. We need everybody's help. We need all the help from the government. We also writing letters and all that, but we need you also to write letters to your government or any government that you think fit. Any government at all, everybody, please write. I agree completely with you that the government leaders and media can be most powerful and helpful in spreading the message to the most people about saving the planet through being vegetarian. We must work together. That's why we have been passing our flyers. That's why we have the Supreme Master Television. And uh, that's why we advertise on newspapers and railway station, bus, airplane, airport, etc., etc., wherever we can, with our own means of financial ability, including myself. Yes, but it cannot be our voice alone. You help us, please adding your voice and all the voices for this urgent matter. May Buddha bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you for your blessing. Vegetarianism in Religion The Baha'i Faith Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism. All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Gaudai. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible Confucianism all men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius Essenes I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve Hinduism since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adilila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith. Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. 
Sutra Kritanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. It is exciting to tell you again that this is broadcasting live through Supreme Master Television and SupremeMasterTV.com and Mongolian Channel TV9 and Mongolian Radio 105.5. Oh, radio also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Master Radio too. Thank you, uh, TV9 and Radio 2. These are positive media and we are very grateful. Buddha bless you and your job, your noble intention. Thank you, Master. That concludes our question and answer session. Supreme Master, would you care to add any other comments? Everybody already understood, and <laughs> I hope the audiences are satisfied with my answers. And if they have any more questions or anything that not clear from my answer, please let me know. Thank you, Master. If not, then I would wish you a very, very beautiful, satisfactory, lucky, prosperous, healthy, <laughs> enlightened ox new lunar year. And please, be veg, go green, save the planet. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you for your loving concern. Thank you for your invaluable insight. It is great to hear your priceless advice for this challenging situation. God bless Mongolia. Thank you. Buddha bless Mongolia. Thank you, Master.
Supreme Master Ching Hai conveys her apologies that time did not permit a reply to all the questions submitted at the SOS Mongolia video conference. So she would like to address them here on Supreme Master Television. The following question is from Mr. Batman Renten, professor and leading expert at the Institute for Strategic Studies. Dear Supreme Master Ching Hai, I express my sincere gratitude for this opportunity to be a part of this wonderful event. I very much admire, respect and support your efforts in bringing peace, nobility and morality into the lives of people in our world. My question is, with absolutely no regard or consideration towards the environment and its natural resources, humankind has gone overboard with materialism and consumption as a means to happiness. All of these factors are contributing to worsening the effects of global warming and adding to the frequency and the number of natural disasters. Does Supreme Master think that we still have a chance to neutralize global warming and slow down desertification? Yes, Professor Renton, we do. But humanity must understand the dire state of our planet. This is the message we have been working to spread to the world. If humans understand the need to change, the first change that must be made is to eliminate meat consumption and production. This will allow the planet time for other ecological changes to be made. Practically speaking, meat contributes to at least 80% of global warming and pollution. So just eliminating the meat literally saves the planet and gives us all longer life and happiness. If we continue on our course without change, the Earth will continue to see more severe weather due to climatic changes. People will suffer from more frequent disasters. It will disrupt the balance of our planet, causing glaciers to melt, rivers to flood, and desertification, drought and famine will result from destruction of agricultural land. To slow such calamities, including desertification, we must switch to a cruelty-free diet and hence reduce the bad karma of killing. This is the most important step. And other practices such as organic vegan farming or ordering large quantities of organic foods together will also help. Any conservation efforts like this do benefit the planet. As you mentioned about overconsumption, we really do not need so much food or even other things to live. As long as we all make the right choice of a healthy, compassionate lifestyle, the health of all beings and the planet is assured. The following question is for Mr. Batmunk Sodnam, Senior Advisor on the Committee of Government Affairs, mathematician, writer, and poet. What is the role of humankind in helping to stop global warming? Is there a way to reach out to the whole of humanity and make them understand the importance of their role in this? Since the very beginning of its existence, our planet had volcanic eruptions that radiated the heat from the Earth's core, and also the heat from the sun is causing the warming of our Earth. Could this all be the reason for global warming? Scientists worldwide have agreed that the current global warming is caused by humans' activities being out of balance with nature. Heat from the Earth's core and the sun are natural processes. If our Earth is in balance with the ozone layer intact, we would be protected. There are many reports available now from the United Nations and other respected scientific bodies that document the human cause of climate change. So humanity can reverse it. The 2006 report from the UN, Livestock's Long Shadow, outlines the role of meat consumption in global warming. The meat industry also uses hugely excessive amounts of water, so stopping meat eating is central to any global warming solution. Sometimes people just do not know, so we do what we can to inform them through advertising, flyer distribution, and sharing vegetarian food. If the government officials, such as yourself, are aware and support this ideal, that is best. We pray that all the governments and media in the world join hands in helping the public at large 
to understand that the vegetarian diet is the only solution right now. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption, bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease. E. coli, salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease or Cushfeld-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk, pig's disease or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating Heart disease, over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer, over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs, 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental, use up to 70% of clean water, pollute most of the water bodies, deforest the lungs of the earth, uses up to 43% of the world's cereal, uses up to 85% of the world's soy, cause world hunger and wars, 80% cause of global warming, plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption, breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk, listeria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis, classified as a major allergen, lactose intolerance, plus more. The following question is from Mr. Nyandalig Bursku, Vice Chairman of the Institute of Psychotronics. Supreme Master Ching Hai, I express my sincere gratitude for your efforts to help humankind understand the threat of global warming and possibly halt the disasters that may be coming. In my opinion, in order to save the planet, people who meditate need to continue meditating, while people who don't should pray for the planet to be saved and pray for peace to dawn upon Earth. If people pray together every month during the full moon and during some significant days according to the moon calendar, the positive power might affect the world in a good way. Would you please, Supreme Master, speak to humanity about this? Mr. Borsku, it is good that you mention the spiritual aspect of saving our planet. Yes, prayer will help. But it cannot do much if we still continue with the destructive ways of life in killing each other and killing animals. We must return to the higher, nobler ideals. So, Along with the loving intention of prayer, please remember the importance of action. We need to make peace with all beings, including the animals, through our deeds. Love and peace begin on our table, with the food plates in our home. We need to extend our love to other beings by letting the animals live in peace and adopting the plant-based diet for ourselves. And we can extend our love to family members by stopping the cause of global warming on their behalf. So, please continue praying, but also be as active as possible in promoting peace for all beings, starting with the animals. This is truly the way to save the planet. 
Thank you for your question, and I pray, too, that this can be done. The following question is from Ms. Odma Navanyam, attorney at the National Government Office. The traditional diet of Mongols is meat and dairy products. Our country has a very short time period for cultivating the land. Because of this, we are forced to use imported vegetables that often are not organic and substandard. What is the right food for us if we are to change our traditional diet and turn to vegetarianism? Master, what is your wish regarding Mongolian people's contribution to combating global warming? Madame Dewanian, thank you for your question about suitable foods. Even with the limitations of your climate, nowadays there are many ways to grow things on our own, even indoors, without soil, and with little water. You could get together with other people of similar interest and start a small growing cooperative. And you can take an example from your country's neighbor, Tibet, which has similar growing conditions to Mongolia. There they have subsisted for hundreds of years on barley, a hearty grain that is full of nutrients. For delicious vegan recipes, you can go to www.suprememastertv.com, where there are many, many free, easy-to-prepare dishes. Since our environment is already so delicate and fragile, especially Mongolia's, we should be extra mindful to protect the land by not burdening it with the demands created by livestock raising. This would cause even worse desertification conditions, not to mention the animals suffering. My wish for the Mongolian people is the same for all global citizens, and that is for an earth that is preserved in all its beauty and sustainability, the way God had originally intended an earth in which all inhabitants live in love and dignity and respect for one another. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet, lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol levels, reduce type 2 diabetes, prevent stroke conditions, reverse atherosclerosis, reduce heart disease risk 50%, reduce heart surgery risk 80%, Prevent many forms of cancer. Stronger immune system. Increase life expectancy up to 15 years. Higher IQ. Conserve up to 70% clean water. Save over 70% of the Amazonian rainforest from clearance for animal grazing. A solution for world hunger. Free up 3,433 million hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year, or half the world's grain supply. Consume two-thirds less fossil fuels than those used for meat production. Reduce pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintain cleaner air. Save 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming. Plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. The following question is from Mr. M. Galanbat Baturin, Director General of the National Information Technology Institute of Mongolia. Honorable Supreme Master Ching Hai. First of all, I would like to extend my warmest greetings and express my respect for your tireless efforts for the better future of humankind. As you know, the Mongols have a long and rich history of nomadic culture. For a country like Mongolia that has extreme climatic conditions, animal-based products have been predominantly used in every aspect of living throughout the centuries. Traditionally, nomadic livestock breeding has been the dominant sector in our economy. And since early childhood, the Mongols developed love and compassion for their animals while using different products from them. In this context, what is the proper way to balance any given country's traditional lifestyle and culture with the future trends of this world? What is your opinion about it? Hello, Director General Batsurin. Surely the nomadic lifestyle is a rich and beautiful aspect of the Mongolian culture. And we understand about the love and appreciation between the Mongols and the animals. That is very good. 
but to be truly in harmony with nature and to tread the most lightly on our planet the way we need to at this urgent time, we must completely respect the life of all God's creatures as well as their unique contributions to our world. This means we have to stop any kind of killing because even though the products are used in a context of compassion, it still involves suffering to the animal. Even consuming dairy products is not something that happens between other animals in nature. And the raising of livestock produces dangerous and unwanted greenhouse gases which cause global warming and threaten our world's existence. The vegetarian lifestyle is therefore the most fully developed level of compassion. The following question is from Mr. Shanktar Ambreit, professor and recipient of the highest state honor, the People's Teacher. Our country is located in a large landlocked area surrounded by mountains with a high elevation above sea level. With relatively weak ecosystems of a dry Gobi Desert, a small percentage of forest cover, and a few rivers and lakes, do you think there is any action that can be taken in order to slow down or neutralize the effects of global warming in our country? Yes, Professor Ambrit. Being vegan will have the immediate effect of removing methane from the atmosphere, which is one of the highest heat-retaining greenhouse gases, up to 72 times the heat-trapping effect of carbon dioxide. Being vegan will surely slow down desertification and preserve your natural resources like lakes and rivers and protect your forests. You can also employ other green measures, such as planting trees or changing to green technology, but those take longer to have an effect. The vegetarian diet is the fastest and also reduces the bad karma of killing, thus is the most important. And you can join with others to find ways to obtain and prepare the most tasty and delicious foods. Even in the sandy areas, there are many suitable food plants that can be cultivated without or with little water. We may do research on those and cultivate for our future sustenance. Have lots of luck and joy with these organic farming methods. We have some info about them on Supreme Master Television. Or there will be more soon. You can demand the assistance of our Mongolians members into finding them for you on our website. Keep looking on SupremeMasterTV.com for new updates. Thanks. European Parliament supports reducing heat to lower greenhouse gases. Call vote. Vote is now open. Reduce your meat consumption or stop eating meat totally. During discussions on greenhouse gas reduction goals, the Climate Committee of the European Parliament officially recognized the livestock's contribution to global warming and recommended a reduction of subsidies to the livestock industry to curb methane. My name is Jan Solm. I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg, go green, save the planet. The following question is from Ms. Ertenma Usandorch, Department Head at the Mongolian Daily Newspaper, UNIN. It is an honor to meet you, Supreme Master. What do you think the essence of human existence should be based upon? In today's world, humans are living a very stressful life. How do we combine meditation with such a society, within such an environment? Your words of advice would be priceless. Ms. Luzendorge, I thank the positive media like yourself and for your care. The essence of human existence is based on reconnecting with divine love and power, for it is our true sustenance, without which we suffer too much, as most of humans sadly do. Through this love, we find the deeper values of care and compassion for all life. Through this power, strength, and wisdom, will protect and guide us toward happiness by correct actions. Or else we are similar to a person in a dim cave, uncertain of our moves, and thus 
hurting ourselves. This is also needed on Earth, especially at this critical time. As you mentioned, the balance of life is very important. The most important balance at this urgent time on our planet is the return to virtue. We have the chance now to act, and so we should do so. We should meditate, be mindful, and also act in keeping with clear principles of virtue, the first and foremost being do no harm. If we do no harm to others, especially meaning no killing of animals, we still have time to preserve the planet Earth. So the foremost action I suggest is the vegetarian diet. And the more people we can reach with this message, the better the chance for the Earth's future will be. So we ask for the help of all media members such as yourself in spreading this message for the sake of saving the world. The following question is from Dr. Narenteg Terendulam, Director of Kashu Manal Hospital. It is an honor for me to have this opportunity of being able to participate in this conference and ask my question. I am a doctor trained in traditional medicine. I have been working for 17 years as a doctor. The question I am going to ask is theoretically related to my profession. In our medical system, we believe that an individual soul comes into material existence at the moment when the parents' cells unite. That is why humans genetically inherit the outer appearance of their ancestors. However, our inner being, our soul, is cursed even before entering the body and continues suffering from this curse afterwards. Even though we have pure mind, sometimes we are victimized by the curse. In Mongolia, we say that good people tend to die earlier than the bad ones. This has a ring of truth to it. People protect themselves through different means. How do we protect our soul from being harmed? Is there a way to protect one's mind and body from being cursed? If a lot of good hearts come together, will it change the world? How do we unite this positive power? I have a strong faith in your vision. Your charitable activities inspire me, and I support you with all my heart. I pray to you all the time. Dr. Serendulam, thank you for your kind words. I understand your concern. And yes, the soul is what we need to worry about. Because even if our physical body is destroyed, we must rescue our soul. And the way to do that is by being virtuous in this life. This is the greatest protection. If we have compassion for others in our daily life actions, we are already protected. This kind of compassion includes refraining from eating animals. And through these same virtuous, benevolent deeds, the mind and body will be protected as well. And yes, it is true that if a lot of good hearts come together, the world can be changed. The first change to unite this positive power is to adopt the animal-free lifestyle. If enough people on the earth do this, the planet will be saved by benevolent energy. There is still hope, and I believe that with everyone's help, we still can save this beautiful planet. But the best protection that goes with virtuous deeds is our self, our own original self. If we connect our mind with it, we will know better, function better, and live with clearer vision. Anyone should do this. I can help to show how also. That's the best thing one can do to oneself. Even if the planet is not safe, we will be safe, now and hereafter. welcome you our The Birds in My Life special ceremony. The Birds in My Life is international bestseller attaining the top position on several charts 
including Amazon.com, Supreme Master Ching Hai, who inspires countless people to become compassionate toward our animal friends, shows the saintly nature and inner world of them through this book. With the grace of God, we are very graceful that we have the honor to have the Supreme Master Ching Hai joining us. She is a spiritual leader and author of international best-selling books, The Birds in My Life, The Dogs in My Life, and also The Noble Wilds. She will discuss the encouraging messages brought to us in this beautiful book, which is Harmonious Coexistence of Humans, Animal Friends, and Mother Nature. The Birds in My Life book will be available in Internom, one of the largest bookstores in the city, in both Mongolian and English version. Wow. That's a surprise. Thank you so much. Thank you, Master, for your blessing. We are thankful Supreme Master Ching Ha has set aside her busy schedule to join us today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Supreme Master Ching Ha once more time. Your Mongolian starts really perfect now. <laughs> yeah, your voice sounds thank very well. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for this honor and thank you so much for your hard work to bring this uh, meeting into fruition. Thank you everyone that involved and all the audience. And thank you, the government, the president of Mongolia, and thank you, the parliament member, and thank you, the media members, who has been so kind, so supportive, and so gracious to help us in this uh, matter, and also lending an ear to our plea for the uh, rescuing of the planet. Buddha bless you all. Thank you, Master. We are very blessed this event to happen. And thank you so much for enlightening people with this precious gift. Now we would like to ask your attention to the special ceremony for welcoming, launching the Birds in My Life book. Thank this you. special ceremony uh, symbolizes the Mongolian tradition of honoring books. In Mongolia, books are considered as treasure of human wisdom. Please enjoy the special welcoming ceremony for our new book, The Birds in My Life. Please Welcome. enjoy. It's so beautiful. Wow, impressive. Wow, that was genius, kid. <laughs> Very smart, very smart boy. And with this special event, symbolizing this beautiful inspiration we have received from the birds in my life, 
we will now have a cake ceremony. This is Cake of Love, dedicated to the love for all beings in the universe. Please notice that it, this is vegetarian cake. Cake has no egg. Cake of Love. <laughs> Master, we would like to cut this cake for this special ceremony, um, the launching the Birds in My Life book. Okay, we cut it. <laughs> Symbolically. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> In Mongolia, we would like to offer the first piece of this cake to you, Supreme Master, our guest of honor. Master, this is the first uh, piece for you, and it has strawberry thank um, you. Kiwi, kiwi inside. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's read it, actually. What it is said? Be veg, go green, save the planet. So the cake has the words, be veg, go green, and save the planet. Be veg, <laughs> go green, save the planet. <laughs> that is right. Saran Hostum Bostoy, Bara Ditiga Hamrastai. Book did it after the tour. Be veg, go green, save the planet. Save the planet. Saran Hostum Bostoy, go green, a bar of Ashna Hamrazi, and save the planet. Thank you. Our next performance is the puppet performance. This is the special performance um, consisted of the roles of the birds in the book, which is called The Birds in My Life. So please enjoy our special puppet performance. Azur. Hello. Be yammer Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
Honorable Supreme Master Ching Hai, I read your book, Birds in My Life. I found your book to be quite beautiful and inspiring. Till now, humans believe that animals are less developed. However, animals can see the true nature of things and the inner essence of the human beings. In your book, you state that animals can convey stories from a thousand years ago. Thus, my question is, why don't humans share this same ability? Sanbanyo. <laughs> Sanbanyo.
Madame Selene, we have, we have this ability. We have even more than that, but we have forgotten because we are too busy with mundane concern and survivals. But we can retrain ourselves through connection with the divine and with the intelligence within us, the wisdom within us, just like the Buddha did. We can retrain ourselves. And uh, we could see more than that. See, the Buddha can see many worlds above our worlds, and he can remember things um, happened many, many of thousand years ago. We all have this ability, not just birds and dogs, not just the wild nature, animals, but we human have everything, and we have more than that. If we just take time to remember, and if we know how, I could show you <laughs> if you have time. Thank you for asking. Happy New Year, Miss Selene. <laughs> Our next question comes from Gorin Bertrano. Hello, Master. Welcome. Hello. I did really enjoy your book, The Bird in My Life. And uh, oh. the, the color and the word that have been used inside give us a real brief of love. And I have a special preference to Lumino, who has so much color and uh, I believe a nice voice. And yes. I advise everybody to have this book in home and read it with your child or your grandparents as well. <laughs> and uh, Thank you. It will bring a big, big uh, uh, peace in your earth and can change the mind of someone who's never cared about animals before. So I have a question. Do you think if we show to people, especially children, how the animal have been killed, do they change their mind and will become vegetarian? Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Mr. Bertrano. Uh, they might do that. Many times the children have been shown by our association member about the cruelty that is inflicted upon the animals. And the children cry and they vow to become vegetarian right away. And they remain so for a long time. But I wish that we all become vegetarian, adults and children, without even having to be shown this kind of cruelty treatment, because it's really heartbreaking, really heartbreaking. But in some cases, we have to show people the the real truth so that they will decide it themselves and make a commitment to become vegetarian or vegan. Uh, thank you, and I am glad you enjoy my book. <laughs> thank you very much, Master. Bye, Allah. Our next question the Baha'i Faith Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism all meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Gaudai The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. 
Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius Essenes I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve Hinduism Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adilila He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu Islam, Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith Jainism a true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Kritanga Judaism And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible Blood meaning flesh Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure. The supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism. Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great compassionate loving self nature and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. Uh, next we have Mr. Munko. He would like to share his opinion. Welcome, Mr. Mukha. Welcome. Sambanyo chen khakshya. Sambanyo. Sambanyo chen khakshya. 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 Sambanyo chen Уйсан өөрөхөн сэтгэлийг маш товчхон энэ бас та бүгд ингээд илэрхийлээ гэж бас ярьсан юм аа. Багшийн а тэргэд бол их олон амжилт байдаг. А түүнд тэрс энэ олон тотнууд а энэ өөрийнхөө доктор сэтгэлийг багшаар илэрхийлж энэ ном дээр тусгасан юм болов гэж би бол өөрийнхөө оюун ханаар бол энэ номыг уншиад ойлгосон. Тэгэхээр энийг бол өөр хэнийг хүн бол бичээгүй баха. За in номон дээр яг тэр шууд юу хэлсэн юм бэ гэвэл энэ номыг уншиж чахта би шуудын талаар ус яг хүмүүс бидрийн өөрсдийн зан зан харилцаа одоо төлөв энэ бүх энэ характерийн асуудлууд бол яг энэ шууд ан ан амжилт дээр байдаг байдаг юм шүү гэдгийг багш бол шууд энэ өөрийнхөө Тотоод сэтгэл ертөнцөө багшаар дамжуулж хүмүүс бидэнд илэрхийлсэн юм илэрхийлээ гэж би ойлгосон юм аа. Тэгээ монголчууд бид хэлдэг ном бол ертөнцийн харах тойл гэдэг. А энэ багшийн шууд миний амьдралдаг ном ном бол а амьд ертөнцийн дотор байгаа энэ шууд амьдд өөрийнхөө тотоод ертөнцийг багшаар дамжуулж хүмүүс бидэнд харуулах гэсэн ийм цонх гэж би онцолж хэлмээр байна. Байдаг. 
эцэст нь бас нэг үг хэлмээр байна. Амтыг бид ойлгоод хайрлах чадвал а шууд амтд бүгд бидэнд өөрийгөө ойлгуулж бас бид нэг маш ихээр хайрлал гэм шүү гэдэг бас энэ ялтанд хэлмээр байна. Хайрын хариу хайр байдаг. Баярлалаа учраас багш. Thank you. The translation is As part of my ongoing activities of working with animals, I had the opportunity to read your book, Birds in My Life. As I was reading the book, I forgot that I was reading about birds, instead it was as if I was reading a story of humankind. It was at this moment that I realized that, be it a bird, a human, or any other animal, that God has endowed us with same gift, consciousness, and especially fundamental social qualities such as love, friendship, sadness, and sorrow, suffering, and happiness, joy, the desire, and the wish to help others. Your book showed me that animals have all these same social qualities that many of us think are exclusive only to humankind. It is very clear to me that a fundamental essence of your book teaches the reader that animals are no different than humans. People should read this book. These parrots and other birds in your book are trying to communicate to us on behalf of all animals that they also have, have come to this earth to live a life of purity and that they love us and that they wish for us to equally love them back. This is what I have understood. I would like to emphasize an important lesson that I have captured. If you can truly give love, you will get only love back. On behalf of all Mongolians, I wish to thank you for making it available the Mongolian language and also in Russian language for Russian reader. Supreme Master Ching Hai, you have so beautifully conveyed to us through your book, Birds in My Life, that the answer to love is love. Thank you. Чудесно, чудесно. Thank you, Baya Lala. Thank you so much, and congratulations for your uh, winning award, which you deserve as such a sensitive soul that you are. I am touched that you are such an elevated and a highly sensitive man that you could feel the vibration from the animals through the book. Buddha bless you. Buddha bless you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Bye, Allah. <Lala. laughs> Thank, Thank you. I think I can speak Mongolian if I learn, huh? Yes, Master. Your Mongolian sounds great. I'm surprised. <laughs> Our next comment comes from Amar. Здравствуйте. Добрый вечер, уважаемая мастер. Низкий поклон за вашу изумительную, чистосердечную, очень полезную книгу, которая помогает смотреть мир другими глазами, и она напоминает нам, что мы всегда должны думать о своих младших крылатых друзьях и заботиться о них. Мастер, я учитель русского языка, и ваша книга помогает мне учить своих учеников к милосердию и быть мудрыми. Огромное спасибо вам, мастер, за ваше издание и опубликации на русском языке. Оно помогает нам. Огромное спасибо еще раз. Thank you. Our last comment comes from a Russian reader, and she is a Russian language teacher, and she yes. is really grateful for your compassionate and loving, this special gift conveyed to the Russian reader too. And it is really helpful for the um, teaching the kids that animals are equally to human, and also it's really compassionate and loving energy that they can feel. Thank you, Master. Я благодарю вас. 
<laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, yes. Master. Thank you. Thank you again <laughs> for everything you're doing. Thank you for making it happen. And it's great blessing for all of us, for all Mongolians, and for all people in the world. Thank you, Master. Thank you, thank you. Her Gachte and Gachta Mitrinch Tursen, the hair in real empty hair, the hair tree, and the use of Mitrich Tilde. The yet if Pastor Hanas Rain, Namia Short, the hair tint, the hair tagarata, empty English hair statue, the English Тэгээд энэ энэ бүх шууд нь оллоо одоо их гайхалтай үзгэсэн гоо тэгээд өөр өөрийн зан аштай зан аштай хүнтэй юу нэгжлэгэн санагдсан л да Сэн байсан уу би энэ гоо шууд миний амьдрал намнаас маш их зүйлийг олгсон би урд нь бодохдаа зөвхөн хүмүүс л миний ахан дүс гэж бодож байсан бол тэр бодол маань өөрчлөгдөн зөвхөн хүмүүс ч биш бас амьдд болсон шууд бүгдээр миний ахан дүс гэдгийг олгсон би ингэж бодсондаа маш их баярлсан бас үйлэх төгсөн гээд бодож Энэ намдаа гарда шууд бүгдээр их хөөрд мөр хөөрхөн байсан тэр дундаас хамгийн хөөрхөн дөрөв нь бол Rainbow Sunny Boston, two to Mimi to Rupesa. Be two to Mimi Hoydig and Nibota Harat, Tira Hoydig to the song. Harren Sunny Rainbow Hoyer North Park, in she hung in the Hunt and Short Sook, Tira Hoydin Pasta, Tosh Baran, Bur Hortmur. Beach song or on Nigga Short, it's a hick son. Him going on to the chicken, Chiraba stand there by Sa, in the same book to them going on there by Hippy Hussein, be ten person in the same book and the tire there, be ten down, me number one the Rusia. In green, that's you give us no more kitchens, eh? If him Shooting 
Тэр дотроос бол одоо хамгийн их жоохол хурл цаг үе болсон ийм хурл боллоо гэж инээж бодож байна. Ялангуяа оролцож байгаа хүмүүсийн хувьд ч бүрэлдэхүүний хувьд ч гэсэн их олон төрлийн хүмүүс оролцож байна. Энэ дэлхийн дулаарлын асуудал санаа зовлонсон ялангуяа цагаан хоол махны махан одоо хоол амтны гаралтай хүнсний бүтээгдэхүүнээс татгалзах энэ чиглэл дээр бол одоо хүмүүс их санаа зовлонж ингэдэг болсон энэ хурл одоо оролцож байгаа байдал идвэгтэй байгаа байдлаас нь харагдаж байна. Би бол одоо Монголын амтны эрх хамгаалах сангийн тэргүүнд энэ чиглэлээрээ бол одоо энэ махны чиглэлийн одоо хүнсийг багасгах ялангуяа сайн нөхөр болох амтныхаа одоо махыг идэх хүнсэн тэрэглэх арис үсийн нөмрөх зарим одоо эд эрхтнэр нь бэлэг дурсгалын зүйл хийхийг эсрэг одоо манай байгуулдаг үйл ажиллагаа явуулдаг ялангуяа их багш чанхай багш бол одоо их сайхан үйл бүтээдэг одоо монголын хөөхд болгон бүр мэддэг болоо шүү дээ ингээ тий одоо энд цогсон олон одоо зуун хүн өнөө ороо очиад ах дуу нарта үр хөөхдтэй одоо энэ талаар ярих болно эндээс одоо завсарлагаанаар идсэн энэ цагаан хоол одоо үсний зүйлүүдээ ирэн орныхонтой ярьж суралцчих болно тийм учраас бол биш гэсэн одоо энэ чиглэлээр энэ монголын цагаан сарын дараа бол өмнө нь энэ төр энэ чиглэлийн одоо үйл ажиллагаануудыг бас амтны эрх сангаасаа зохион байгуулж явуулах болно та бүгд баярлалаа Тэгээ одоо энэ хуралд бол ялангуяа Монгол улсын ерөнхийлөгч намбрын их хоёр их ачаалбагдлогч илгээл явуулаа За энэ үл зүгээр нэг одоо нэг намын хуралд ян зүрийн одоо үзэл бодлын хэсэг үлдэх хүмүүсийн хуралд явуулсан илгээл биш. Ер нь одоо Монгол улс дэлхийн дулаарлын эсрэг багсахад одоо үйл ажиллагаанд ямар баяр суурьтай оролцох вэ гэсэн манай одоо төрийн тэргүүний манай одоо их чухал үг вэ. Тийм учраас энийг айл болгон одоо баагрыг дагаж мөрдмөр сангадж байлаа тий. Тэгээ дээр нь одоо улсын их хурлын байгаль орчин хөдөөгийн баянга хорооны дарга гэж үг хэллээ бодло илэрхийллээ ийм учраас бол одоо энэ их чухал юм аа төр засгаас энэ талаар анхаарч байна ялангуяа төрийн бус байгуулгууд амтны их хамгаалах сан энэ дээр одоо төрийн бодло гаргадаг байгуулгууд дээр одоо хамтарч ажиллана тий А дэлхийн дулаарл зөвхөн хүнд одоо гамшиг авчирч байгаа биш хүний сайн нөхөр болох амтдэд одоо бас их гай тарьж байгаа. Тийм учраас амтны одоо эко систем нь өөрчлөгдөж байна амьдрах. Амтны өөрөх нь эко нишх гэж байдаг. Өөрөх нь одоо холгоно гэхэд л өөрөх амьдрах нишх орчинтай. Тэр нишн нь хүртэл өөрчлөгдөж байгаа. Тийм учраас дэлхийн дулаарлын зэрэг үйл ажиллагаа нь таны оруулах одоо хувь нэмэр бол өөрийн хайртай амтан болох одоо амтны арис үсээр битгий гоё очээ. Амтныхаа амийг дасал хүнсэндээ битгий хэрэглээч сайн анд нөхрөө одоо сайхан хамгаалж амьдэрч амьдэрцгаа яа алаг дэлхий дээр гэж ингэж өрөөд мараа За тэгэхээр энэ өнөөдөр хурд болоод байх гэж сайхан болж байна. Би энэ бас чухал багшийнхаа нүүрийг хараад энэчлэгийг надад сонсоод хүмүүс асуулт нь хариулаад ингээ монголчуудад ад зург сайн сайхан хүсэж байгаа дүүдүүд их баяртай байна. За тэгэхээр одоо чухал багшийн сургаал болоо гэдэг нь тэгэл хүн анханаас л одоо үнэт чудрах ба. За ингээд монголчууд тал дэс хэлж шүү. Монголчууд бол дээр үе сада тийм дэлхийд нэр гарсан улсууд. А тэгтээ эндийн нэг нуусад бол одоо баг хаал иддик. Зуны одоо цагт баг одоо 7 8 сар 9 сар жих юм цагаан хаалтаа ингээд явдаг. Ийм юм байж ээ гэж. Энд ч одоо манайх нэг бас нэг өнж үзсэн тэрэгээ сэргээг үл яасан бэ гэж ингэж хэлж байдаг. Ингээд би шинхо багшта энэ одоо хүмүүс бол ингээд ирүүлэн халзаг сайн сайхан бүхнийг үсээ а вакцин одоо тэр хэлсэн сургаалыг одоо хүн бүхэн бийлүүлэхэн зүгт юм аа гэж ингэж бодож байна. Аа тэгвэл энийг хотод дэлхийн бас оюуны сэтгэл чин багшаас бас асуулт асууж яг өөрөд тохиолдож байгаа асуудал авас тодорхойлж хариулт авсан доо болмош баяртай байна. Аа тийм учраас хамгийн түрүүн энэ илтгэжлийн тавьж байгаа зан зашил тодорхой нөлөөл үзүүлэх за малын тоод болгоог одоо цаашид өсөхгүй байх За мөн түүнээс тавьж байгаа цагаан олт нь болох энэ орчны бүрдүүлэлт чиглэлээр бол тодорхой ажлуудыг хийх ёстой. Энэ бол ер нь бол нийт одоо телевиз үзэж байгаа үзэгчтэй дэлхийн одоо уур амьсгалын өөрчлөлтийг хамгаалахад бид нараас эрүүлэндээ хамгаалах шаардлагатай. Эрүүлэндээ би бүх бас хамгийн түрүү хамгаалахын тулд бол тавьж байгаа гол зорилго бол ерөөсөө цагаан олт нь болох дэлхийн нийтээр бас энэ уур амьсгалын өөрчлөлтийг сайжруулах уур амьсгалын өөрчлөлтөөс дэлхийн нийтэд аврах боломж бол өнөөдөр бас цагаан олт гэж мэдэж авлаа. Өнөөдөр урд нь бас энэ ойлголтууд маань тийм ч бас нэг ойлгомжгүй байдалтай байсан бол өнөөдөр бас энэ ойлголт мөн илүү батчруулж өглөө гэж бодож байна уу? Залуучуудаа хүмүүсээ цагаан олт болж дэлхийн нийтэд аварцгаая. 
Бүрэн дүүрэн одоо хэлжүүглөө, тэгээд их олон улсууд янзүүлэн одоо сайхан санаа бодож, өөр 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 хэчээж, гэйн айжилд улуулдан цүмөөрөөн өргөн оролцаж, одоо их нүхтгай улуу хамгаал, сайшта улуул энгээ дэлхий өртөнсэг тайм байл хамгаал хад улуул, монголдийн хүн болуулдан тэргүүн өгэнгэнд одоо санаа сэтгэл, энэ хувиад үүч сэтгэлийн, зүтгэлийн хувиад улуул оролцно гэдэгт одоо би итгэж ана. Төгөз гэгээрсэн их жанхай өгшин номыг үл өншид гаа. Энэ хүнэтэй үл үл ерж гаа, энэ сургалтай үл санал нэгтэй байна. Үн гэдэг үл үл дүлгүй номхон, бүх емэнда залбарсан, өөрихий бүдэ чадлийн хэмжийн үл үл нөөрүй. Түмнийхэй түлүй зүтгсэн, өөрүйгээ биш олныгоу гэсэн энэ сайхан зүтгэлэн түлүй энэ хүн бол маш их хэм хийжгаа. Ангээд манайд одоо ангээ хандаж бидэнтэй ярэцлэг эсэн танд бол маш их байлла, танд өндөр амжал түсия, ангээд дэлхий нэдэн хүн амтний амагдан тайвэн байхан түлүй таны хийжгаа үйсэг одоо гэдар бишэрч, зайлбарч байна.